The purpose of this video is to take a look at and to see how to input graphs that you've created either in Google Documents or in Excel and how to take those and put them into a Google document. So I've got a graph here that I've already created in Google Spreadsheets and I now want to take this graph and let's say I'm uh, completing an assignment in Google Docs or I've got a report that I want to put together and I want to get this graph into that. And I'm going to walk through the steps of how to do that both for Google Spreadsheets and also for Excel if you've created your graph in Excel. So first we're going to look at Google Spreadsheets. Um, I've made my graph already and, and I've walked through steps of how to do that in, in other videos. So I'm just going to focus on how to put that into your Google Documents. Um, so I'm in Google Spreadsheets and I've, I've created my graph already. And the first thing that I want to do is one, make sure that my graph is completely how I want it. I've got a title, I've got my axes labeled, I've got the correct type of graph for what it is that I'm trying to show. Um, because once you've created your graph and you've moved it into your spreadsheet, you can't make modifications to that graph. You're going to save it as an image and so once it's into your document you can't you can't make any changes easily. You have to go through the whole process again. So I want to first make sure that it's completely how I want it. So this is how I want this graph and so the first thing I'm going to do is click on my graph and I'm going to click this little down arrow right here and it's going to give me some options. Now if I wanted to make further edits to the graph I click advanced edit. What I want to do though is save this as an image. I want to save this graph as an image, so I'm going to click that option. And depending on the type of browser that you're using uh, on Chrome, which I'm using right now, uh, this, this image will show up down at the bottom of my screen. Um, if you're in Firefox, it will pop up as a little pop-up saying that it's saved. Um, and this, this image is being saved to my documents on my computer. It might vary a little bit depending on what type of computer you're using, what type of browser, but usually it's going to save that image to your documents folder. Um, if you're using Chrome and uh, a Macintosh, that's where it'll be saved to is your documents folder. And so now I'm going to go to this, the document that I want to insert this graph image into. So I've got this open here. I've just got a blank document. And I want to insert this, this graph image. And to do that, I've, I've got two different ways I can do that. The, probably the easiest is just to go to Insert. And then I want to click Image. Um, there's also, uh, oh, I guess there's not an option here. Uh, so just Insert Image. And if I know exactly where that, that file's at, I can just drag and drop it here. I'm going to choose an image to upload. And I'm going to go to my documents. I'm sorry, my downloads, um, because I've downloaded that file, and so it's going to be in my download folder. And I believe this is the one right here. Um, if I want to, if I'm on a Mac and I want to test and make sure that's the right one, I can press spacebar and it'll give me a preview of it. And then that happens to be my graph, so that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to click Open, and it's going to upload it, and then insert it into my document. Uh, if I want to change the um, location of this, uh, right now you can see that the inline with text is, is selected. If I clicked Fix Position, I can actually move this around a little bit, um, but bear in mind that it's somewhat, uh, it's a little finicky in, in how you move the graph around a little bit. So usually what I suggest is to, to get your mouse, your cursor, wherever you want that graph to be inserted. So the next step of this, or the portion of this that we're going to look at, is how to take a graph that you've created in Excel uh, and insert that also into a Google document. Um, so I'm going to switch my screens here. Uh, in this video I've got, uh, in this screenshot I've got um, a data table that I've created in Excel, um, testing the, some null hypotheses, and I've got a graph here that I've created. Um, again, with, with also with Google Documents, you want to make sure that your graph is totally how you want it to be, because once, you're, once you insert it, it's not, you're not going to be able to edit it. And so let's say that I've got uh, this graph how and, and where I want it to be. So I'm going to click on this graph, and I'm going to right-click um, uh, on my keypad, on my mouse here, and to do that on a Mac, um, if you press two fingers at the same time, kind of in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll get this option list here. And what I want to do, again, is the same kind of, pretty much the same thing as what I did in Google Spreadsheets, is I want to save this graph as an image or as a picture. So I'm going to click Save as a Picture. And it's going to ask me to give a, a title. And it's going to ask where I want to save it. And it's going to save it as a PNG format. Uh, this is just a file format for images and, and Google Documents will accept PNG files, so this will be fine. So I'm just going to uh, uh, label this graph number one and I'm going to save it to my 
downloads folder. Um, and, and in this case, you have some options of where you want to save it to. I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to go back to my Google spreadsheet. Here's the original one we were working on. Uh, I'm going to want my graph to be below the first one that we input. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit, press Enter a couple few times. And then I'm going to go up to Insert, just the same procedure again. Click Image. And I'm going to choose an image to upload. And I'm already in my downloads folder. And here's graph number one. I want to make sure, again, that this is the same one. So I'm going to press space bar just to double check. Looks like it's my correct graph. I'm going to click Open. And there we go. Now, you'll notice that this is obviously a little bit too big here. So I need to shrink this size down a little bit. And if I click on the graph, uh, the outer lines of kind of where the graph is at is here. And I can shrink this down a little bit here. So I'm just going to click in the bottom or any of these corners, the bottom right, top, top right hand corner. You'll see this little arrow icon comes up. And so you can actually drag and change the size of how big you want this to be. Um, and so now I've got both of my graphs that I've created, the first one in Google Spreadsheets, the second one in Excel, and I've actually put these into my Google Document. So there you go. That's how to insert uh, graphs you've created into a Google Document.